There have now been more than 128,000 cases of COVID-19 in the state, and 2,337 Arizonans have died from it. Each of those cases and deaths take a toll on our health care workers. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with several frontline workers, all of them pleading for the public to take the virus seriously. Josh. Yeah, guys, no one is immune to the virus. It's impacted all of us, especially those on the front lines dealing with life and death every day. COVID-19 is crippling Arizona. Since last week, the number of positive cases soaring by more than 36,000. The state reports 88% of ICU beds and 85% of inpatient beds currently in use. So there's a disconnect with what people out in the community are experiencing and what our health care workers here on the front line are experiencing. The virus has taken a toll on health care workers across the state. In a tweet, Arizona Senator Victoria Steele announcing the state is sending 75 ICU trained personnel and crisis counselors to Tucson Medical Center to help staff with the emotional trauma they endure day after day. You don't just stop taking care of a patient because a whistle blows or it's that time of day you just need to go punch out. That goes for the nurses and the doctors and everyone involved. Dr. Hines has been working at 10 hour overnight shifts as COVID-19 patients continue to flood hospitals. We're working longer hours in, in many cases because people are sicker. But it's not just the public getting sick. Physicians and nurses are also fighting to stay healthy. So many of our brothers and sisters in medicine have been killed because of their exposure to people who didn't have to get sick including my cousin, Debbie Ann Stewart, a devoted nurse who watched over 40 of her patients die before succumbing to the virus herself. Banner Health OBGYN hospitalist Dr. Dion Mills says medical professionals should not have to prove the reality of COVID-19 to the community. She says there is no other side. The virus is deadly, but preventable if people take responsibility for themselves and others. If you do one simple thing, we can have, you know, hundreds less ICU beds taken up and we could have way less techs and nurses and everybody exposed and death dying or sick. Dr. Mills is pleading with the public to listen to the science, wear a mask and social distance when you're around other people. She also says just because a bed is available in a hospital doesn't mean it's the right bed for COVID-19 patients. The wrong bed could limit medical interventions. We're in downtown Phoenix. Josh Sanders, 12 News.